If I was trying to describe Ric Flair to somebody who didn't know him, I'd say, where have you been for the last 30 years under a rock? Born February 25th, 1949, it seemed predestined that Richard Morgan Flyer would one day become the nature boy, Ric Flair. Flair would break into the business in 1972 with Fern Gagne's AWA. It's like seeing Jordan in his first year of the Bulls. You knew you were seeing something special. Over the course of 36 years, Flair's career would travel around the globe as he blazed a trail through the NWA, WCW, and the WWE. A true wrestling pioneer, Flair would captain the legendary Four Horsemen, one of wrestling's most dominant stables of competitors. They would wrestle together, they would ride together, they would party together. They lived life to the fullest. They did whatever they wanted to do when they wanted to do it. The Four Horsemen, we are the studs in professional wrestling. Without the Four Horsemen, there would have never been a DX, there would have never been an NWO, and there would have never been Evolution. There were four great stars in the Four Horsemen, but one shined brighter, and that was Ric Flair. While many dream of one day winning their first world championship, Flair has been to the top of the mountain a record 16 times. Ric Flair has done it, no question about it. Ric Flair for the greatest victory of his career! As talented and accomplished as the Nature Boy has been in the ring, it perhaps may be the way he worked a microphone for which fans will remember him most. Y'all out there, take a good look at what's going on. Not just another pretty face, but the greatest athlete on the face of this earth, brother. If you're gonna study how to do a, an interview in, in the world of sports entertainment, I think Ric Flair is the perfect guy to start with. I'm the nature boy, I'm the dealer. You know why? Because it says so. He talks the talk and backs it up. He said he was in a $10,000 suit, he was in a $10,000 suit. I wish all the kids could wear these, but at $5,000 a pop, it's a little hard to do. That's why this sport coat costs $800, and that costs $200. And I don't know what that cost, I'd be ashamed to wear it. When Ric Flair grabs a microphone, you know you're in for a ride. I'm what it's all about, girls. I'm what's happening. I've been to the limit one time in my life. It took Linda Carter and Bo Derrick back to back to make Ric Flair even flinch. When Ric's interviews were flamboyant and can't help but either laugh or get excited about it, he had a fire. And, and you could see it in his eyes. The whole world to me, Dallas, Tampa, Charlotte, Greensboro, Tokyo, Melbourne. I am your champion. Learn to like it. And while Rick patented a number of catchphrases, I am Space Monk. I'm styling a profiler. Kiss stealing, wheeling, dealing, limousine riding, jet flying, son of a gun. It is a simple one word expression with which he is most identified. Woo, 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 woo. I've got the worst woo in the world, but I will certainly uh, give it a shot. Woo, 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 I can't do it. Ric Flair is the embodiment of everything that a professional wrestler should be. He is what this industry is all about. It's all he's ever wanted to do his entire life. He was one of the very, very best. He's done it all, and done it better than anyone else. He's the greatest wrestler who ever lived. That respect that he gives the fans, that respect that those fans give him has made him immortal. You know, Ric Flair has given so much to the business. There will be another Babe Ruth, Muhammad Ali, or the nature boy Ric Flair. I don't think so. There'll be those who try, and there may even be those who come close, but there'll never be another Ric Flair. You know, there is only one Ric Flair. There will ever only be one Ric Flair, thank God. He's just in a class of his own. He really is. He's in a class of his own.